Sorry for the interruption. My phone rang. I did not realize I didn't have my breather off. So it cuts the video off. So I will be sending it to you in two separate weeks. The tile transition's over. And of course, you're going to have the uh, laminate flooring. Someone has updated it. Just looks like they ended up not going the last little bit. Of course, that's where the water came up under the wall from where it leaked in the uh, kitchen or the bar area, excuse me. The bedroom does have carpet in it. Top and ceilings. Good sized bedrooms. 13 by 20 is the master. Huge walk-in closet. Shielding. Carpet continues on. It does transition back to tile in the master bath. Separate toiletry area. The tile looks good. as well. So far the only spot I've seen is of course in the kitchen and by the little uh, bar area. Master bath. Double vanity. Has been updated at one time. It does not look like it's from 1990. Separate area for makeup. Skylights let a lot of natural light in. Jacuzzi tub, tiled around it. Somebody is taking care of this house and still maintaining it for another really building here. And of course, you do have a lot of natural light coming in as well. Again, the ceiling looks good. The stained water spot. Go to the other bedroom. Of course, that's looking back towards the living room. Utility room, laundry room, washer and dryer hookups, good size. Plenty of additional storage. This would be considered the guest bathroom, like a Jack and Jill in many ways for the guests. Seal vanity. Again, the ceiling looks good. Tile looks good. Tub infused. Does have a tub shower combo. It's not cracked. That right there is where they had a shower curtain hanging up. Again, on that side, no issues in here that I see. Of course, this is the uh, second bedroom. Four bedroom, four bath, totaling 3,402 square feet. Additional closet for storage. There is an additional smaller closet as well for some storage. Both the bedrooms do have carpet in. back around to the living room. This is going to be considered, you could actually make this a, a bedroom, office, or anything. Of course, it does not have a closet, but you have plenty of room to add a closet if you wanted to turn it into a five-bedroom. The paint does not actually look bad in the house either. It's not scuffed up, beat up. Like I said, somebody took decent care of the property. And had it updated. Of course, you do have an additional coat closet as well when you enter in. Beautiful property. Definitely has some potential, that is for sure. Beautiful crown molding. All throughout. 
now we're going to go into the kitchen. Again, plenty of storage space. Kitchen does transition from this one tile to the separate tile. Garage as well. This is where the second driveway enters in. Looks like a little spot. Something has gone on right here. But it does not look like it's anything recent. Does have a fireplace inside the kitchen. That was a real unique feature. We have a door that leads out to the patio, an additional uh, double door that leads out, as well from the living room out to the pool. Does have a separate dining room area also. All the cabinets look good, the countertops. The appliances, cooktop, recessed lighting throughout the house, additional lighting above the shelves, nice feature. Does have the upgraded tile backsplash. Again, the floor looks good. Garbage compactor, dishwasher, backsplash tile. Like I said, my wife and I looked at this house thinking about a flip for ourselves. I just don't have the time to, to do it. Of course, it does have vaulted ceilings in here as well. There is some additional damage right here. Of course, this is where it had blown in from the hurricane. Let me show you this right here also. That is where water has ran down the metal trim that they put up on the corners of the sheetrock. And there's a little bit of a cracking right there. I did see pieces of a tarp as well when I pulled up in the yard. So it lets me know that it was tarped off. It just didn't have water pouring in. Of course, when I looked up in the bar, I went ahead and inspected it before I started the video also. It was dry. It just was brown. Dingy looking, you know, from the uh, stain of water. And of course, let me show you the view looking from the kitchen as well. More additional cabinets on the countertop bar. There are some issues by the back here. It seems like most of the damage is from on the not the well from Hurricane Michael is on the back side of the house, the way that it was penetrating. And of course I want to show you this also. Just additional water damage that they have disclosed. All of it is dry and has been dry. Looks like the seam right here in this window. I think that would be salvageable. The window itself, just have to make sure the, the leak is uh, repaired naturally. And of course, it goes around to the formal dining room. Changes back from the white tile in the kitchen to the laminate flooring. This room has no staining, spots, anything on the ceiling. Windows do not appear to have any spots as well. And of course, this is cutting through the dining room back out into the foyer living room. And of course, we're going to go upstairs now and see the other two additional bedrooms. 
Faces into hardwood flooring on the treads on the stairs and the landing. Unique cuts in this house too on the ceiling. Everything's very open floor plan. This window looks good. Does need some touch up paint on the uh, right by the baseboard. The banisters look good. Steps, treads. We're gonna have a bedroom located on the right hand side and the left hand side as well. Does transition back into carpet in the bedrooms. And of course, this is looking down into the living room. Again, the walls, I mean, the walls look great. The house is in way better condition than what I thought it would be. Of course, like anything else, when you do have water damage, you just don't know what you got till you open it up and see. But from the looks of things, from what I can see, I would have expected it to be worse, which is, you know, not a bad thing. Super size room. They made use of the, definitely made use of the cuts from the house. Those are two nails that have poked out of the sheetrock. Of course, the paint looks good up here as well. Carpet did have one issue when we came right in. Right here. It appears a dog has scratched it because I can see scratch marks on the uh, corner of the door. So they tried to patch that the best they could. And a huge walk-in closet. And make great space out of the angles on the roof as well. Making it open. Of course, you do have a bathroom. Goes back into the tile flooring. Single vanity. Flooring. Paint, tile. Everything looks good. Of course, this is just additional storage to the attic. Each room has one. A lot of people like to put uh, overflow of Christmas decorations and stuff like that as well. But it does have a floor on it, so you can use it for that as well. There are additional closet spaces. Also, this is a shower tub combo as well. No spots on the ceiling. Go to the other room. I do see a spot right here, but that could be cleaned up. A lot of detail in the crown molding. And of course, up here, the ceiling looks great. Carpet as well. Nice walk in closet. And of course, they made great space out of the other side of the dimensions of the house, the way the angles of the roof were. Just looks like maybe they had this set up for a arts and crafts room for a kid or something. Carpet does not look bad in this room at all. It definitely could be cleaned up and saved. And then the bathroom. Again, shower tub combo, just to see another bathroom. Additional storage. That's going to be here also. It does have a floor. HVAC. And then the hot water heater is up here. Transition back into the matching tile as the other bathrooms do. Single vanity. 
ground molding in the bathroom. Again, no issues of water spots. Everything appeared to be on the actual back side of the house. Still even having the yard treated for weeds and everything, so that lets you know someone is still maintaining this property. And they do have the louvers as well. I'm sure you've seen those. Nice picture window. See, that's the thing about it. I don't see any. There's nothing water related. In this part, it all appears to be located in the kitchen, and right here at the uh, entertaining bar area. Now we'll go outside. It does have laid brick patio, it's been painted. There is some wood rot. On the trim right here on the window. And of course, I do see some more rod as well. By the window, there is some on this leg right here with the stucco. This is where the water had been forced up from Hurricane Michael. Of course, it blew from this angle, that's the reason why all the damage in the water intrusion was as well. And it appears that the flashing blew off, and that was the reason why it started leaking. I can see right there. All of this appears fine under here. Stucco has bucked up right here in this corner also. And this is the fireplace where the other wood rot was around on the inside. It does not appear to be leaking around the fireplace. There is some damage on the fireplace or something that hit the stucco during the storm in a couple of spots. There's a lot of detail that went into Master is located on the first floor, but it's on end street. And of course, this is looking out at the second driveway. Property backed up to the golf course. And of course, the street is here. Off the garage as well. trim does go around towards the garage door. You can see exactly where something has hit the roof on the house during the storm. Not too terribly bad. And of course, this is the side door that goes into the garage. A couple pieces of trim. It's right here. Or something that hit it. Uh, those are just nail holes right there where something jarred the board. I'll take you around this way also. Let's see the other side of the house.
pressure washing the house and the driveway would make a huge difference. As you can tell, you can still see someone maintaining the lawn. There's true greens tagged, slush and green, no weeds in it. Back around to this side of the house. Windows do not look bad. Paint's not flicked up like the other windows were. Go to this side of the house or the front of the house and take to this side. Again, nicely landscaped. We'll have additional storage for pool supplies. Good. Again, it just needs to be cleaned, touched up paint. This one here are your pool pumps, the medallion that shows from the master bath. All the soffit looks good, everything looks good. The gutters look fine. It does need some TLC touched up. Cleaning would help more than anything. Just some bleach. You can see some of the shutters have the paint flicked off. A lot of it is just small stuff. Of course, you know, like I said before, we wouldn't know the extent. You can see where someone has patched where stuff has hit the house during the storm. There's three or four more spots here also. All the soffit looks good. I want to spend a lot of detail on this house to begin with. Oh, you love everything looks good as well. It is fenced in. you what the houses look like on the back side as well. Very nice. The way they have everything set up, you've got privacy with the fence, and then of course you have privacy from the shrubs as well, or the landscaping. So far, the bar area around the fireplace window in the kitchen, and then of course this where the stucco had the damage will be uh, to be repaired as well. But here does not appear too bad, dirty again, and of course we made a full circle. Of Great outdoor uh, kitchen area, anything. Pretty much an open palette, basically. Right. And we're going to go back in through the back door. I wanted to show you this as well. There's the rod on that trim and the edge of the door. It's actually in the corner over here. The door appears to be fine, but there's a little bit of rotting right there around the corner. And of course, back in. 
definitely has some potential. Hope this video gives you plenty of detail. As always, contact me if you have any questions.